Oh, okay. The doctor's dead. The assistant is dead. And the nurse is dead. Is this real? Am I dreaming? I'm not sure. Well, hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. And I am actually genuinely really excited for today's episode because Robin has two days left to live. Uh, no, 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 no. No. Robin has two days left until she ages up into an adult, which means I'm going to get to move her out. And in particular, I'm going to be moving her out of smoggy LA with its, uh, you know, its pollution and whatnot and into beautiful Henford upon Bagley, which is a little cute cottage area. A very cute little little village and also super exciting because, of course, Robin, as part of Nuts Berry, is going to have to be, uh, max out her gourmet cooking. And I figured... What better way to do it than with freshly grown produce from the like fields of Henford upon Bodley. I thought that would be really, really cute. So we're going to be doing that today. But obviously we had a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bump in the road last episode. And I literally mean a bump because Mahina, for some reason, uh, Mahina and Coral, I sent them to do woo-woos and instead they chose pregnancy. She is here having herself a little pregnant nap right now. Now, obviously with us moving out, I'm going to do the move out tomorrow because i don't like it when they sneakily age up without me so we're gonna do the aging up tomorrow on the friday and then move into our new uh, place at the weekend and i don't want to miss out on this pregnancy while we do this so mahina i'm actually just gonna go ahead and wake you up and i'm gonna kind of cheat advance this pregnancy a little bit which is also gonna help out coral because you know he's getting on and they got a baby so we're gonna switch into trimester three because i want to be able to both see the baby in today's episode before i leave and at least you know be able to name it and stuff or else they'll name it themselves I want to know what gender it is. And also, I want to obviously move Robin out. And that's a lot to try and fit into one episode. But we're going to try our very best. So the kids are at school. These guys are kind of hanging out with the whole pregnancy thing. I sort of feel like at this point, they've had two babies. Are you serenading her? That's so freaking cute. What? I sort of feel like at this point, you probably don't have to go to early parenthood classes. You probably don't have to do any of that stuff. Genuinely, you've done this twice before you're kind of pros at it you've never done it this old though mahina was meant to age up in an elder in one day which is another good reason to fast forward the pregnancy because i actually have uh have it where they no longer like freeze their age if they're pregnant so i wouldn't have known what would happen if she aged up into an elder while pregnant we could have lost the baby so i'm kind of glad that we've done it this way instead and instead she will be giving birth in who knows? She's in trimester three she is dealing with some stuff jeez a cough again she is a sickly woman uh, and she's feeling happy about the sweet serenade and also lost in thought, which is very, very cute. So Coral also now an elder. We don't know how many days he has left to live. He has 72 days lived though, which I kind of, it feels a little bit did they have kids quite late? Did they? I don't know. I'm like, oh, maybe we can pretend he's 72 years old then. But I don't think a 72 year old would have a teenager. Kind of doesn't quite line up there. So I'm not really sure what age he's supposed to be. But I would, in my head, he's like 50s, 60s, which kind of makes more sense. We are going to graduate as a grade A, which is genuinely a bit of a shock, but also kind of amazing. It helps that we've been doing school projects in the garden with our friends. Our well-maintained garden, by the way, as you can see, we've got beautiful flowers growing. And this is her final day of teenhood, her final day in school and blossom has asked us if we want to hang out tonight and go to a nightclub you are just taking this you know i'm single as an adult but i'm just uh so as an elder but i'm just kind of going with it thing however i can't go clubbing my, my wife is like literally gonna give birth at any moment so i am instead kind of keeping an eye on her fizzy can you not do that babes your audition's meant to be tomorrow at 5 20 mahina genuinely i think this will be the third time you've either skipped work or had to leave work due to falling, like, literally going into labor whilst you're at work. It's not the first time this has happened. It's the third time, which is kind of impressive. And Coral's feeling very loved up, isn't he? Very loved up by his pregnant wife, which is very cute. And I'm kind of like, I'm so ready to leave this house because I really don't like playing with too many Sims in one household. It annoys me. And also the whole, whole roommates thing means that your Sims constantly go in next door, even when there's like a sink in the same room. Like, that part of Sims genuinely annoys me. But one thing I am going to miss is all these cute photos because I think this is the first generation we've really done this with. We've like taken a bunch of like photos at Christmas and it was really, really cute. So I'm glad we did that. And I would like to keep that up for future generations. Okay, Robin is home. Kai is on a B. Robin is one of the top students of Buckingham High, you little cutie bean. Now, I pretty sure there is a whole university course she could do in order to become um like go into the law enforcement career 
But you also don't need a degree to go into law enforcement and university means you start the career ahead of time like you start at like level four or five and i don't like doing that either i like starting from the bottom and like working my way up so we're gonna be doing that instead i also need to have a think about getting her a pet i will be having a look at a pet for her when she's moved out and settled in and i'm gonna try and find i think she needs a dog but i think you know we did the whole alsatian before when we had oh my gosh what was that sim's name why am i thinking andy he wasn't called andy i've forgotten my own sim's name anthony i knew it was an a we had the golden retriever with anthony and he was in the police and uh, not, not golden retriever german shepherd with anthony and he was in the police career i kind of don't feel like it suits robin as much because she's kind of lazy and you know golden retrievers uh, no stop saying that german shepherds require like a lot of like looking after and they need like lots of runs and that kind of thing. So I don't think it's the right dog for her. I'm kind of thinking if she wants to become a detective, I might get her like a basset hound or like, I don't know, any dog that has like the lazy trait, I feel like might be a better like... A better fit for her. We'll go for maybe like a sniffer dog rather than a working police dog. It's still a working police dog, but you get what I mean. I don't think a uh, German Shepherd is the right fit for her, but we'll have a nosy and we'll see what we come across. Now I'm getting her to watch cooking channel because I need to try and level up these skills while I get chance. I still haven't unlocked gourmet cooking, but I kind of figured that if we move to Henford on Bagley, I'm going to move into the village, by the way. I'm actually going to move into the cottage I'm built but the like redone version of it. So I will be showing you guys that soon. I'm kind of thinking if we do move into uh, Henfin and Bugley and she starts like, you know, seeing all these people growing their own produce. It's just a like, I don't know, quite a wholesome and more green way of life, particularly in comparison to LA. Then I think that can help like spark this interest in gourmet cooking for her. And school is stupid. I should be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? We do require school for success, Robin. But also genuinely, this is your final day. You don't need to be worrying about about that stuff. How have we done with her character values? Emotional control is kind of bad. Empathy, not great either. Okay, this worries me because you're going into the police career and both of those are kind of important. Your manners, your responsibility, and your conflict resolution aren't bad, but I'm gonna see if I can just try and improve some of those other stats while she's still young. Because I'm a little bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. This is my final day to try and fix these things. I'm going to encourage her good grades. How can I improve her empathy? Volunteering! Okay, volunteering sounds like a good... Oh, it's almost her birthday as well. And oh, Mahina's got gourmet cooking. Oh, well done, Mahina. How did you get it? What are you in here cooking? Oh, you are in a bad way. Exhausted when will this pregnancy end? Cough, cough, back pain, overthinking. You've got it all going on, haven't you? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, uh, volunteering. Also, by the way, in the police force in the UK, let's do that with Coral. I'm gonna, I don't wanna leave Mahina on her own, so I'll, I'll keep Kai at home. He's playing with his friends at the park anyway. Let's go volunteer at a soup kitchen. But one of like, getting into the police force in the UK is legit actually quite hard. I had a friend that did it and you have to like do a bunch of like extracurricular stuff and volunteer as like a, not a police officer, like a community support officer is one way to get in. So that's what he did. He went to like, like, um, he like volunteered as part of the police force a bunch while he was still working the job that I was working with him with. So I kind of figured if we get Robin to do a bunch of volunteering, that's going to be a good way for her to like have on a CV in order to get into the force. And I'm going to get Mahina to get some sleeps because uh, you could be given birth at any moment and you look pretty tired. Oh, and look who's got it. Wait, you're a neighbor as well, Trey? Trey lives on our vlog. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. He lives here. He's like popped round. I got you a special gift because I'm such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? Oh my gosh, I definitely do. But you're like all the way over here and I'm, I'm volunteering. And Robin notices that the soup is going to run out before everyone gets fed. Should she ration the soup and give everyone half portions? Or should she use fillet ingredients to make it last longer? Oh gosh. Uh, I don't think rationing is... Oh gosh, let's try the fillet ingredients one. She approaches the chef and asks for some cabbage and onions to add to the pot to make up for the lack of meat. <laughs> what? The chef finds a bunch of extra veggies to add to the pot and the soup is even better than before. <gasps> you clever little bumpkin. Well done. We gained some responsibility for asking the chef for extra ingredients. And Mahina, I'm going to have to get you out of bed because Trey's here. So let's invite him in so he can wait here for... Uh... Okay. Oh, jeez. We are all fuming. Fuming about being woken up. Maybe Trey knows that we're going to be moving away soon. So he's come to bring a gift. He's so freaking sweet. I really wish she fancied him, but she doesn't. So it is what it is. Oh, please don't be coughing on, on my pregnant wife. And okay, he's given the gift to Mahina to give to uh to Robin instead. 
And Kai reached oh. remote level 10. Well done. What is it? What did he give us? A faux jerky cube. Well, what in the cute vegan is this? Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I guess I will just leave this on here for Robin. Here you go, Robin. Here is a block of fake meat. Do with it what you will. Maybe he is on vegan. I don't know. Maybe we can focus on gourmet vegan cooking. That's kind of cute. We did just add a load of veg. And we also got pictures of veg on our little family planner. So, you know, vegan is very green. Maybe we can try and get Hen from a Badly Bagley green at the same time. Okay, and we're back home. Volunteering is fun and it builds character. It feels good to do things for others. And we got ourselves a good reputation. These are all great things to start before going into your future job. That is good. Trey is also here. So we can spend a bit of time with him as our final... Because he's... How long have you got left until you... uh? age up oh he's the same as us okay i'm just a little bit down robin thank you for checking in on me that's so sweet and i am gonna miss little trey i don't know if he's gonna go into the um like police career so i mean she's not attracted to him anyway but it would have been cool to have him like hanging around the police station as like our childhood friend but this might be we'll try and keep in touch with our friendos we didn't keep in touch with is it james after our like disastrous romance with him but we'll try and keep in touch with him he'll be in la though and we'll be in england so it might be kind of difficult so it's sort of nice for spending like a final evening watching comedy tv together or chef's tv okay this is good it's increasing your cooking perfect and if you were secretly uh kind of low-key hoping for a tree romance like me let me know in the comments below and coral is losing his celebrityness but i genuinely don't think he cares i don't think he ever wanted to be famous i think he just wanted to you know write his books be celebrated for that and then just fade into obscurity because he never wanted attention he just wanted recognition, which is different. So I thought it'd be kind of funny for final night in LA. Oh my gosh, the stars, no freaking way. Usually when I do this, there's no stars. And I'm like, it's LA. I've been to LA several times. You can't really see the stars at nighttime. So I thought it would be kind of funny to make them stargaze. But then the stars went and came out. So at least you've got like a final nice view of the stars with LA. Hanging out with your buddy before we make the big move tomorrow. And uh, there is still no baby. Still no sign of Babalaroo. Not gonna lie, Mahina, you kind of need to have this baby before I leave the house. Otherwise, you're gonna name it some foolish name because Sims always do that. I just know you will. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mahina's audition starts in an hour. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see how that one goes. I also think with the new baby, will it mean that Kai, like, gets less coddled? I kind of, like, he's allowed to go to the playground by himself now. So, you know, that's kind of a big deal. He did ask for advice this morning about playing with the other kids, though. And Mahina told him, talk to the teacher. That she's got to make you have friends. So, maybe not ideally, but we shall see. Babies take up a lot of time. Maybe it will let Kai kind of come into his own and grow his own wings instead of having Mahina's at the sight of him doing this. He also has... Okay, he's going to age up today as well. This is going to be a baby born on two birthdays. Technically three birthdays in one episode. So I feel like we need to start cooking some cakes now. Oh, and I kind of said yesterday was going to be a final day of school. But I actually think it's easier just to let her go to school now or else they'll eat all the cake that he eats. So they've got their final proper day on the Friday. I think that's fine. And I will start cooking some cakes. <gasps> oh no. I also just got told that Mahina... It's her birthday today. Mahina, you've got to have this baby before you aged up. Otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen. I genuinely just don't know. Okay, one cake done. I need three cakes. It's a good job babies don't eat cake. Otherwise, I would need to cook four cakes today. How ridiculous is that? Technically, it is only three, but I really want to do Robin's today because I want to do all in one episode. Poor Coral happened to make them all because he's the only one at home. I'm sorry, Coral. I bet you did not this think this is how you're going to spend your retirement. Just baking away. Oh, and you passed your audition whilst literally being hours from labor. That No, 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 don't eat the cake. What are you doing, Coral? You just baked that cake. Oh my gosh. You might be sharing a cake at this point because I don't mentally know if I can cook that many more cakes. Earwax is technically a form of sweat. No one needed to know that. Everyone is disturbed for having known that. And I, I'm i just ashamed that you've just told us all. Thanks, Coral. <gasps> and it's happening. The baby's been born and we have one cake. 
one cake in the whole world, but baby is on its way. So, okay, at least the baby came before she aged up because that would have just been horrifying. So guys, let's head to the hospital. <gasps> Jacob is an elder. Okay, we're here. It's baby time. The doctor is dead. Why is my, why do you look like Derek from Grey's Anatomy? You're also called Derek. Great. Why are all my doctors dead all the time? Also with this hospital, I genuinely never know where I'm supposed to go, but Coral is having the same panic he's always had. Doesn't matter how old you are or how many babies you've had it's always scary we're gonna go ahead and can we check in please oh okay the doctor's dead the assistant is dead and the nurse is dead so like what am i supposed to do with that what am I supposed to do with that? Is this real? Am I dreaming? I'm not sure. This is also like the hospital I used. Oh, floating baby. For Lila uh, when she was in the doctor's profession. And it's a big hospital. It has a lot to it, uh, which is why I kind of tend to get lost. But, you know, Coral has watched two of his babies now be born and put into here. We're role playing. Go with me. I don't think he... Okay, he literally doesn't care though. I don't think he ever expected another, but here we are with another He's off to go find Mahina, who I'm hoping has figured out where she's meant to be giving birth. Because genuinely, I don't know where. I've clicked on a few rooms. Don't seem to be the right ones. So I'm not sure where to send you, Mahina, I'm afraid. Kind of hoping they give you a doctor with a pulse. That's kind of my preference. I also know I'm not the only person that gets this book because I saw it in a little Simsy thumbnail. So clearly this is just like a Sims issue that... When the hospital staff die, are you literally going to go start checking people in? Oh, okay. When the hospital staff die, they just keep working, which is really annoying. Usually you give birth here, but I'm not getting the option. Oh, okay, this is worrying. Me need to start having some of these home births. If she ages up right now, I swear to God. Oh my gosh, this game is just beyond buggy. <laughs> We've been here for a few sim hours now. I'm going to try switching control back and seeing if we can have this baby at home instead. Game why? Why, why, why? Oh my god, bless her. This is the longest and most painful labor ever. I've got them home with the help of cheats because they were stuck at the hospital. I'm gonna put a bassinet in the room. Honestly, Robin, babes, we need you to move out because we need the room. We need the room. I'm sorry, but we just do. And, oh, they're still eating the cake. We're gonna be doing this baby thing the old-fashioned way. Oh, geez, that is a reluctant birth. You'd think at this point you'd be desperate to get it out. Oh, no, okay. We just really just said no to that game this is a high point this is a high point for you okay <laughs> really really okay let's do this let's have a little bubble of room oh <gasps> and it's a girl okay so we had kai we had robin this is another little girl and it's the third baby i'm like that i've been like oh i need to name it because they'll just name it something stupid i had literally no ideas in mind no ideas in mind whatsoever i kind of think now that we've got the well-maintained garden a name named after a, a plant might be kind of nice lily is a cute name so let's go for lily and it's just the one okay it's just the one and we have a little baby sister so this is, oh my gosh look how tiny everyone is down here now yeah we got ourselves a little sister so it's gonna be drastically younger than us because it's born on the day that we are becoming an adult but there we go a baby has joined the family. And Mahina's reached parent level 10. I'm not surprised after three kids, genuinely. And Blossom still wants to go nightclub and Blossom, no! I have just had a child. Okay, Robin has come to the rescue. We've got to cooking level eight, which is amazing. We've cooked three cakes. Three cakes have been cooked. We've got a chocolate cake, a honey cake, and a strawberry cake, which is pretty amazing. So well done for that. I don't know why you had honey, but I'm very glad you did. So we can do our birthdays. The baby is crying. It'd be nice to spend at least a bit of time with the baby before we leave. So I'm just gonna go and change baby's diaper unless Mahina is, no, I thought she was gonna swoop in and stop us. And now we can get these three birthdays out the way because Kai is about to age up. So why don't we do Kai's first? Why, right, Kai, come in here and blow out your candles, please. Okay, Kai first is gonna age up into a little teenager. I think he could become quite like a little cool, a cool kid now that he's got a little sister to take off his mom's overbearing attention. So let's go ahead and see. Maker would come from Mahina. Bookworm would come from uh, Coral. But why don't we give him his own thing? He's a goofball and cheerful. 
He's a nice little brother. And he did just reach level 10 of the motor. Like, I think that's the only thing he maxed out, his motor. So I'm kind of tempted to give him, like, he wants to get, like, buff. We do have the little training set in the garden. And maybe if he comes to visit us in England, we can go for a run together. So there we go. Kai has aged up first. Here is how his teen self currently looks. Oh, those are some beautiful long eyelashes you have there, Kai. And then next up, let's go ahead and do... Mahina, because I feel like she's going to jump the gun as well. Mahina, why don't you blow out this uh, honey cake? Okay, so Mahina is aging up into an elder. Just in the nick of time as well. Literally just in the nick of time. Any longer and that would have been not a good time. So there we go. Mahina has aged up too. Kai, by the way, aged up. He's kept his innocent and jester. He was a halfy toddler and he's a champion. ENFP, enthusiastic, creative and sociable free spirits. Her brother's actually like such a little... I don't know, he's cute. He's also still a sleepy head. Gets tired really quickly. And then let's go ahead and do our final one which is gonna be, should we do a Robin today? Now we've done two, I'm like, Robin does technically have one day left until she ages up. And that is a lot of birthdays in one day. She's like, no, I'm going to bed. I'm not having any of this. So my plan for today's episode has not gone quite as planned. But it's fine. I think we'll save Robin for next time and do the move out and Robin in the next episode because this is just... The hospital has extended my recording time for this episode massively. And I still need to go into cast and take a look at how Kai looks. So let's go ahead and do that because I have a sneaky feeling Kai is going to be a little bit of a handsome googie egg. I mean, look at his parents. How could he not be? Okay, so let's just go ahead and whip everything off so we can uh, start again with him. He's got a lot of coral, but I don't think he looks like an exact coral replica. He's definitely a little bit different looking. So as a child, as a reminder, here is how Kai looked. So I will try, I'll keep him up at the side so we can kind of go for like a similar vibe. Let's get his eyebrows on first. This is my favorite bit now, like adding all of like his little, his little CCs in there. Oh, he got little sad brows. What? And then I think with the freckles, I'm kind of tempted to go for the god skin because it adds a lot of freckles on there. But let's still add his like other freckles. Don't worry. There we go. He's got all his, his like child freckles. Kai is going to be handsome. I can just, I can just feel it already gung. Oh, and he's giving me his eyes, which were like hazily, weren't they? Were they lighter than that? I think they were these eyes. Yeah, okay. No, actually, I remember what eyes he had. He didn't have the, uh, my standard eyes. Oh, I'm on sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> he actually uses, was it these? Uh, no. He used a different eye. These ones. I think he, that, yeah, those are his eyes. Okay, these are the freckles that he also has a kid, which just gives him, like, a little bit more colour to his face and his nose, which I think is pretty cute. And add a bit of colour to his lips as well. Okay. And then I'm not gonna, as much as I would freaking love to put facial hair on him, I'm not gonna. He's only just become a teenager. He already looks kind of grown as it is. But he did always have quite long hair. So I'm gonna keep his hair kind of long. And I'm actually kind of low-key good when I'm gonna be around. So like, watch him grow up. We're gonna be gone. So he kind of always dressed quite casually. It's still, is it still cold? Is it summer? What month is it? I genuinely don't know what month it is. But I don't want to change his looks massively yet because like he's still kind of young. And I sort of feel like we'll be inviting bro around a lot to hang out because we didn't always get on that well. We did tease the life out of each other legit when we were younger. I got on better with my brother after I left home. So maybe, maybe these guys will be the same. And I'm going to give him the same little hoodie here as a kid, as a kid, because uh, like it's the same one. But then we'll like change out his style as he gets a little bit older. Otherwise, they just don't look like the same people when they go from like adults to kids. And that like really bugs me. So I think this is a good way to kind of like get around it a little bit and make it so that he still feels like Kai. So hopefully he still feels like Kai to you guys. Let me know what you think of Kai in the comments below. And then I'm just going to quickly nip into Mahina as well because she is now an elder. So I kind of feel like I want to dress her still like, you know, she's like, you know, got a good career. She's still acting. She's still doing a really good job, but we need to Ow. sort of dress her a little. Yeah, I mean, have you heard of Buck? She needs to dress a little bit more grown. So I'm going to go for this smart little two piece on her. And we're going to finally, Mahina, I think it's time. Let's take off the high heel shoes. Let's give you a little bit more comfortable footwear. And I've gone for like a lower makeup look as well with the gray hair. So let me know what you think about Elder Mahina as well. And that was three birthdays in one episode because technically Lily was born, which was then her birthday. 
You get it? We also had Mahina and we also had Kai. And I'm going to save Robin for the next episode and have a moving out and birthday combo episode instead. Because I think that's the right way to do things. And then we'll be able to get her all moved into a new house and start her career all in one episode rather than trying to rush it at the end of another episode. So let me know what you guys think of the grown version of Kai and of Elder Mahina in the comments below. I'm sorry I couldn't get everything done in this episode, but the hospital bug literally ate up a bunch of my time, which was super, super annoying. But I hope you still enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in another episode. Bye.